but they were like, why don't we just like, you know, put together all of our resources and put some food in some brown paper bags and like go feed the homeless. Welcome to another vegan nugget. Something that I'm very passionate about is individual and small group grassroots activism. Each of us has the power on our own or in joining together to take action right now. I'm honored to have the opportunity to highlight such inspiring activists like Anita Kreins of Toronto Pig Save in this video and today the brown paper bag movement. This group is doing inspiring work bringing quality vegan food to the needy of New York City. Their work speaks to the importance of making veganism and real food in general accessible to people in situations of economic disparity and people who live in food deserts, meaning areas without any access to fresh, healthy, and affordable food. And even beyond that, it speaks to the importance of taking action into our own hands and making a difference for others in the world, rather than waiting for someone else to do so. I had the honor of speaking with four of the brown paper bag activists and wanted to share with you the genesis of their work in their own words. Hi, my name is Jesse. Uh, I'm Zach. I'm Miranda. My name is Matt. With the brown paper bag movement, it's um, a program where me and a bunch of my vegan friends decided that we wanted to um, help the less fortunate. Some of us were already going out doing like clothes drives, handing out blankets and coats and stuff like that. And I forget who mentioned it, but they were like, why don't we just like, you know, put together all of our resources and put some food in some brown paper bags and like go feed the homeless. Well, we started participating in this group called the Meeting of the Minds. Some people in this organization had started the brown paper bag movement and they were feeding the homeless. And at that time they were serving animal products. When we went home that night, Zach wrote a beautiful letter, um, basically just asking, for any donations, any vegan donations from a lot of companies that we actually support ourselves. Yeah. And, you know, just saying, you know, we're feeding our brothers and sisters. It, we had a really good response from that. The most vegan companies are small mom and pop companies and they're in it for the right reasons and they're excited to help. You know, like the idea of them helping with, a, you know, uh, feeding the homeless is great to them. Yeah, like a lot of companies such as Filled Rose, Tofurky, Enjoy Life, Ernest Foods, a whole bunch of vegan companies sent us a lot of donations so we were actually able for the next brown paper bag movement to create all vegan brown paper bag meals for um, the homeless people of New York City. We make vegan sandwiches for them, we put uh, vegan energy bars with uh, fruits and vegetables in brown bags. We uh, also give out toothbrushes and socks and uh, other hygienic items, soap and we bag up probably four or 500 bags and we hit the streets of New York City. And so we went out with over 300 bags, fed so many people. Uh, I think the first time we went out, it might have been 12, maybe 15 people. And we had maybe like 100 bags of food. And fast forward to today, <laughs> we have no shortage of supply of people really. Last night we did about 300 bags of food, I'm pretty sure. And it went like in two hours, so like that's how much of a necessity it is. I think it's easy for people to assume that those who live on the streets will or even should take whatever they can get. But being homeless doesn't remove one's humanity. Let's hear about the reception the brown paper bag movement has had among the needy of New York City. Everybody is so excited, you know, um, a lot of these people are laying on the streets, they have nothing, you know, they're laying there with no socks, no shoes, they have nothing to eat, they're very happy and excited to get anything and, you know, it's it, it's heartwarming to, you know, um, to be able to help these people and, you know, when you see these people in these conditions, 
you know, it really touches your heart and it, it inspires you to, to do it even more because there's so many people out there that need this. When they see somebody that is out there to genuinely help them, they, they open up and, you know, they tell you about them. And it, it's it's it, it's amazing to, to see all the stories and, you know, connect with these people. We met a lifelong vegetarian who's been on the streets and he was so happy and grateful to just be receiving good food. And I think one of the funniest things that we've learned is that they have standards just like everybody else. Like they don't want to be eating bologna sandwiches. When we went the first time, like they were telling us, no, like, do you have any peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Like, you know, they don't want to eat that garbage either. So that's been the most beautiful thing. Like people, companies giving from the bottom of their hearts, like not expecting money or anything in return, just wanting people to just be fed. And it's just so beautiful. Like for instance, last night I, I gave, I offered a lady a bag, and she was like, "No, I don't want it." I guess like prideful, and I was like, "It's vegan and it's organic." She was like, "Really?" Like, cause that's all I eat. And we started to talk about factory farming and why it's important to eat organic. Like for me, that that gave me a lot of motivation because, like, like her who doesn't have that many options, she can't just like go shopping whenever she wants to to still be like a stickler for what she puts in her body. This other company at Cure Organics had sent us 500 body washes and one of the guys that we had given a bag to had opened up the bag and seen the body wash and he's like, oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. Like a lot of people donate stuff to us and I can never even accept anything because it's all like poison and just chemicals. And so he grabbed a whole bunch more body washes from us and you know, he's like, this is gonna last me so long. So yeah, that was really memorable for me. Like just seeing like that they do care about what they put in their bodies and on their bodies. Like that is something that's important, not just to us, but to everyone, you know? The brown paper bag movement reaches beyond the streets of New York City in raising greater awareness about food inequality, the marginalization of the needy, and a general consciousness raising about extending compassion to all beings. We're just trying to inspire people to, you know, give back to the community, help less fortunate, and to, to seek enjoyment from helping others. Not enough people in society, you know, want to help others, whether it's helping animals, whether it's helping fellow humans. We need to get back to sharing and caring and with compassion and empathy for everybody. You know, it's not just about your immediate family or your friends, but everybody matters. Everybody needs help. And with the brown paper bag movement, it's been a great way for us to you know, help the community and these people really need it. So I encourage anybody to, you know, go out there, whether it's a, a brown paper bag movement or it's just you by yourself to try to help others, you know, a, a dollar, a sandwich, you know, a bottle of water, anything. People need these things. We need to, you know, not just drive by all these people, but try to help them. I know for us, it's also, we're creating awareness for others, you know, like, er, this is a whole planet thing. We need to all start showing compassion to everybody on the earth, you know? Because they're, they're really special moments that, even though it'll be like 30 or 40 seconds that I spend with a less fortunate person who doesn't have lunch, and like, just looking in their eyes, and like, you see the despair on their face when, like, nobody's, like, looking at them and just walking past them. But when you walk up to them, and you're like, hey, man, you could use something to eat and it's like you, you just show them 20 pounds of gold or something and just like yeah man thank you like this is an action that you can take in your own area and the brown paper bag activists are more than happy to help that's all you need a few people a few bucks and you write a few letters I, I i didn't believe that these companies would send out so much stuff and like it was just very um inspiring to see you know I mean, it's something that can be done by yourself. You want to do it with your friends, whatever you would like to do. But yeah, a little goes such a long way. If people could just take whatever change they have at the end of the week, buy whatever ingredients, create a few bags, like that just goes such a long way. It's really about like just finding the, the time and effort to you know, make a few meals. It doesn't have to be as many as we do. It doesn't have to be a thousand, you know, it could be five meals, whatever. Just, just showing that compassion and love to others is, mm -hmm. is a huge step, you know? Yeah. Just having the awareness that there's others. You know, there's times where we might be walked, going from work or coming home, you know, and we have something and we see someone, we're gonna give it up too. It's just that compassion of all the time, knowing that like things need to change, you know? Yeah. I've included contact information for Jesse, Matt, Zach, and Miranda, and the brown paper bag movement as a whole in the video description below and on this video's blog post if you want to reach out for help getting started in your area. Making real vegan food more accessible is so important. 
and I'll be creating some more videos on some other movements working towards this on different fronts with urban rooftop gardening, community agriculture in food deserts, connecting local gardeners with food pantries, and more, as well as an entire series of videos on eating vegan affordably. I will include links on the blog post for this video to some of these projects and resources if you want to get involved or if you yourself are struggling to find fresh, real food. I hope that you found this video inspiring and motivating. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the brown paper bag movement and what these activists have shared. Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and share it around to help inspire others into action in their communities. If you're new here, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button for more awesome vegan content every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays. If you want to help support Bite Size Vegans activism, check out either of the support links in the video description below, and for perks and rewards for your support, click on the Nugget Army icon there or the link in the sidebar. Now go live vegan, reach out to others, and I'll see you soon. And feeding the homeless people. You can go on Instagram and hashtag BPBM, brown paper bag movement. There's tons of us out here. I'm one of them. You can tap me on the shoulder. I'll put you in. I'll put you down. Bless you and keep doing your good job, though. Thank your you, good job that they're not doing, though. Bless you, brother. Bless you, brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.